Hi there, um, my name is Travis and um, I am not feeling too good today. This morning I, I woke up and I, I felt depressed, you know, I had an emptiness inside. I didn't know what it was, I just, I just knew that there was something wrong and I, I could not put my finger on it. It was like my testicles weren't there or something, something was missing. And so I got up and I, I immediately walked to the kitchen and the emptiness was still there and then I realized what it was. Uh, something was missing and uh, it was my iPod and I was very sad and um, you know I, I couldn't do anything about it but then I found it and then the, the music came back but then um, you know I sat down to uh, watch TV and there was this old black and white romantic movie on and it suddenly hit me what else was missing and it was uh, Lucas and Uta uh, and they were going back to Germany and I just, I couldn't take it anymore, I just, the emotions were too much, I, I began to get upset, you know, and I just, it all came rushing out, you know, I just had this big breakdown and, um, it wasn't good. <laughs> But then luckily I, I changed the channel and there was this hilarious episode of Seinfeld playing and, you know, so I, I felt a little bit better. Quite amazing. Hair was on your shower soap yesterday and be in your head tomorrow. How do they do the first transplant? Did they have the guy take a shower, get the soap, rush it in there by helicopter, you know, keep the soap alive on a soap support system? Jerry Seinfeld is one funny motherfucker. We got the hair, but I think we lost the zest. Sometimes the body rejects the transplant. With organs, is it possible to, that a head can project a hair transplant? The guys just standing around saying, "Beep." So I felt better, and then um, you know I I changed the channel back to the uh, old black and white romantic movie, and I I got depressed again because I started missing my German friends, and you know. <laughs> It's strange because I'm not the only one who's sad about these guys leaving, you know, there's other people too. Hey Uta, um, I'm going to miss you heaps, uh, it's not going to be the same around here without you. Um, I know it's only been like a year but you know, you're one of my really really good friends and I love you a lot and I can't wait till I see you next year in October 1st with Leah and Lucas as well. Guten Tag! <laughs> I'm gonna miss her a lot because I don't want her to go on Sunday and it's Thursday today and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's three days until she goes and I really don't want her to go. It's gonna be sad. I love her a lot. I love her more than shoes. I like when we give each other little signs like, and our little sayings like about milkshakes and um, <laughs> um oh what's the other one? Oh, like you know juicing juicing oh and, and our necklace we have our necklace and leah has one too and it's our cool. friendship necklace so we'll, we'll always have that forever i don't want to say goodbye <laughs> i don't want her to go Oh, okay, I love you heaps and I hope everything's all good and you have a safe trip and I love you heaps and I don't want to say goodbye. So I'm not going to say goodbye. Love you. Well, Uta, Lucas, um, I guess this is where we say goodbye. I mean, we go our separate ways. You go back to Germany and I, I go back to... Well, I'm already at home, so I, I don't really go anywhere. I'll probably just go back to my room or something. I just want to say that I'm really going to miss you for at least a few days. I really mean that, from the bottom of my heart. And um, I hope that you've learned something 
um, in this whole experience. I hope that you've learned that life is not as horrible as it may seem. <laughs> it's what I hope that you also realise that um, you're never alone as long as you're surrounded by your closest friends. But since your closest friends are now in Australia, I guess you're going to be alone in Germany. This probably isn't helping, is it? I'm probably making things worse. Um, what I'm really trying to say is that I'm sure you're going to miss all the wonderful things about Australia. La di da, la di da, dum di da, la la la, la di da, la fa, 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 fa. And if we're out in the open, think about it, it'll happen. It's not as the bad mom says, and it's so happy. Your analyst lied to you when she told you the truth. going to miss Australia. Australia is going to miss you. And I just can't let you go. So that's why I've decided I'm coming with you. Well, I've just gotten off the phone with the airline and apparently you have to book months in advance. Which is stupid because what if Santa Claus calls up saying, hey, it's uh, almost Christmas Day and my sleigh is broken down and I need a flight around the world. Exactly. Love you.